do not understand David Price. I don't understand how big is it, how his ego's got so big. I don't understand why people rate him, why he rates himself, who he thinks he is. I just don't understand. I watched him, you know, watched Price Saturday night against someone that looked like they dragged out the dog and duck. And he, he did he did what any British level heavyweight would have done to that guy. Um, Dave Allen would have done it. Dylan White would have done it. Dave Price did it. Chisora would have done it. It was just, it was like, it was embarrassing, really, the fight. If, if Eddie Earn had put that on, I'd have hate to have seen the, the outrage on Twitter. But I, I listened to Price before and on the IFL interviews and afterwards. And he's talking about how he's been offered the Joshua fight, how he wants the Joshua fight, how he deserves a world title shot. This is a guy that has been put down and stopped twice by Tony Thompson. No disrespect to Tony. And it's a guy that got knocked out by Tepper, even though I know all this drug things come out, but he still got rocked and knocked. So Price then, is that since then, he's, he's joined up with Dave Caldwell, who I like Dave, he's a good good trainer and, you know, comes across as a good guy. But you listen to David Price, he's had two fights since then, one on the belly undercard and one on the cleverly undercard. And I don't get where the deludedness comes from. You know, every time he stepped up, not even to world level, I would put, I would put Tony Thompson at European level, even though he's a, you know, he's a probably a bigger name than that. That's his level. Every time Price has stepped up, he's failed miserably. Um, he's shown in the in the second Thompson fight, he had absolutely no heart at all. Um, and they're saying, oh, he's changed, he's changed his body shape and all this. He's, he's now a natural heavyweight and he's not. Shut up. I just, you're not, you know, you're not world level, David. You are similar to Audley Harrison and no disrespect to Audley either because, you know, Audley did a lot for boxing. But you're not. And I think... He's got this fight with Dave Allen on the Bellu Flores undercard. And I tell you what, I don't see that being a walk in the park for David Price. If you look at the shots that Allen hit Dillian White with, and I know they weren't they were few and far between. But they got they got White's respect. And I think White has got a, a better chin than David Price. So if Dave Allen does do the helicopter and swings and lands on him on that undercard, I'd say it could be a, it could be an interesting night for for David Price. And I think I listened to Price again. He's saying, you know, the Dave Allen fight isn't something we'd really look at. But yet fighting some whatever was he Polish or wherever he were from the other day, some guy fighting him. He's a better, you know, you'll look at that, but I don't, I just don't get David. I don't understand him. And I think, I think he's, he's obviously knowing that he's 30, 31 or whatever he is. And he's coming to, he's coming to that point in his career where he's got to start making some money. What better way to do that than, than call out, you know, the big boys. But if I was Price, I'd, I'd get the Dave, I'd, I'd you know, the Dave Allen fight on two weeks notice is a strange one as well. I'm not saying Dave's a top level fighter, but yeah, I, I, I think, you know, Dillian White will tell you you need a bit of a camp for him. Um, and then I'd like to see Price v, if he comes through that, Price v White, that's a decent fight. I think Price v Parker's too far for Price and it'd be an easy night's work for, for Parker. But Price... V White is an interesting, interesting fight. Price v Chisora, another interesting fight. Price v Hay, no interest in that. I think Hay knocks him out first round. Um, but I just think now it's last chance saloon for Price. And I used to like him, you know, when, when he first come on the scene. But I just think now, I think you build yourself up, don't you? All this, I'd hate this talk of what happened in sparring. You know, I think what happens in a boxing, sparring gym, boxing gym stays there. And I don't think there's any need to come out and do it. And I think he's only done it in the hope that 
Joshua goes, the little bastard, I'm going to get him back. But it's not, I don't think it's worked. I know Price did the interview the other day saying, oh, we were mentioned for the Joshua fight. Come on, you're not. You're not. So, got Price v Allen in a couple of weeks. As I say, that'll be a good fight. I think Price should win it. I don't know if he stops him. Um, but I think it'll be an interesting one for Dave, uh, for for Price if he underprepares for Dave Allen. As he underprepared, I don't know, but a two week camp for him. And I'm not, you know, like I just said then, I'm not saying Dave Allen is the best boxer in the world, but he's been, he's sparred, he's, he's a choice sparring partner for a lot of fighters. Joshua, Fury, all these. So there's obviously a reason why they use him. Um, so that's my thoughts. Like, subscribe, comment.